Every single skater wants a tray flip like Felipe Gustavo or Paul Rodriguez. But for some of us, no matter how hard we try, it seems like we can't keep the board under our feet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took my tray flip from this to this in under one hour. And I'm gonna show you the actual practice steps that I took so that you guys can copy it and hopefully break your tray flip curse. Okay, so here's my theory. I think with a few simple steps, I can go from doing this to actually landing the tray flips. And let me explain how I'm gonna do it. First, I'm gonna practice getting the rotation away from my body, landing it with one foot out there. Next, I'm gonna practice getting the rotation, landing with one foot more underneath my body. Third, I'm gonna practice getting the rotation under my body but lifting my back foot up in the air so it's ready to go back on the board. And then at the end, I should have the board underneath me with my leg up and then I can try landing them. So let's see if an average skater can transform his tray flip in less than an hour. So step one, just get the rotation. Okay, so now step two, I'm going to try to just do one footed tray flips, but instead of letting the board away from my body, I'm gonna try and do the same scoop, but stay over the board. Just try and get the same rotation, but focus on trying to get the board more underneath you. Two tips for doing that is jump more off of your front leg, keep your weight really over this front leg, and just focus on staying balanced as you jump. If you're balanced as you jump, you'll be balanced as you come down. So one foot of tray flips underneath the body. Let's do 10 of them. You can see I'm getting so close that it's like almost hard to not land it. Now the next tip is the biggest hack because we're already close to landing it. It's just our back foot is not there yet. So instead of just going for the land, there's an in-between step that's gonna make all the difference. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on keeping the tray flip underneath our body, but then also getting this back foot in the air. For me, I have pretty weak legs, so I don't have very good pop. So I can do the tray flip rotation all day with my foot on the ground. The question is whether I can jump and do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate doing a tray flip, jumping up into the air with none of the commitment. We're still just gonna land one foot, but we're gonna try and get that back foot up in the air so that it's hitting the ground at the same time as the front foot or a little bit after it. So we just wanna keep this back foot floating. Just like that. So now we're not just getting the rotation, we're learning how to jump and rotate the board. You can't tray flip if you don't jump. Otherwise it's just like a, a tray, no comply or something like that. So you gotta learn how to jump and rotate the board. All right, let's do 10 of these. And again, you don't have to worry about getting your back foot on the board. You're literally just trying to jump as high as you can and get the rotation. You see that one, it was like I had to resist landing it. Cause I'm jumping and rotating, it's right there. One thing that might help you is thinking of it kind of like an ollie, but your feet are in a weird position, but basically think of it as a jump. That'll help get your body going up. And with all that momentum going up and the energy going down into the board, it's literally just finding the right technique to press that corner of the board to get the board rotating. So once you learn how to jump and scoop, you're ready to start trying to put the back foot on the board. So let's do 10 tray flips now. Oh, that's sketchy, that's four. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. All right, well, if you're someone like me that struggles with tray flips, I hope that gives you an idea of how you can go about working on fixing them. I made a video on Felipe Gustavo's tray flips, breaking down how he actually scoops it. So I would definitely recommend checking that out if you're working on tray flips. Make every single day a Friday, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.